I've got my first summer camp booking of the season tomorrow night. So, could you build that new shower block next to these bedrooms, please, Bob? Absolutely, Phil. Oh, also, I'd like you to build a small, bricked area where I can store all the recycling bins. No problem. I've already drawn up some plans. This looks amazing, Bob. What's summer camp, Wendy? Well, Muck, during their summer holidays, groups of children stay at campsites to try different activities like hiking or canoeing. So they'll be sleeping in those bedrooms? Yes, Scoop. Or camping in tents out here. I loved summer camp when I was a girl. Oh, it sounds so exciting! Have you been to summer camp, Leo? A couple of times. And I've been camping with my dad as well. Right, we're going to focus on the shower block today so Dizzy's concrete can dry overnight. I can't wait to get mixing. OK, team. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. any badges at summer camp, Wendy? Oh, I had lots. For hiking, map reading, cooking, electronics. How do you earn them? You just have to try new things and follow the rules of the activity. I'm brilliant at following rules. I bet I earn lots of badges. Here we are, then. Oh, to get Spring City Rockets. Hi, Uncle Phil. Hi, Brandon. Who's my favourite nephew? We can't wait for tonight. What's happening tonight? Uncle Phil so we could camp out. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'd forgotten I'm taking your Auntie Val out for dinner, Brandon. You'll have to do it another time when I'm here. Um... What if I looked after them? Please, Uncle Phil. OK. <laughs> Why not? Yay! Thanks, Uncle Phil. Oh, do you want to come and see how we're getting on, Phil? Thanks, Leo. I'd love to try camping. Sleep in the girls' tent with us tonight, then, Dizzy. Oh, yes! Let's make sure there are no insects in the tent this time, Mila. Insects? Oh, I don't really like creepy crawlies. Last time, Safi found an earwig in her sleeping bag. Once I caught a spider just before my dad swallowed it in his sleep. Eww. Ugh. Maybe I'll camp with you another time. I've just remembered I've got to, uh, get my wheels oiled tonight. Oh! I wish I was camping with the others. But I really don't like creepy crawlies. But maybe they've got them all out of the tent by now. Ditty! Shush, please. I'm trying to sleep. I'm sorry, Muck. I think I've been a bit silly. I wish I hadn't let those stories about insects put me off camping. It's too late now. Is it? What if we both go now? Hey, you're not going without me! Yay! Let's all go! No way. I think it's going to be sardine sandwiches again tonight, Pilchard. But what nobody knew is that something strange lurked in the woods. <gasps> then what happened, Leo? I can see a campfire. That must be Leo. <laughs> it rumbled and grumbled in the darkness. It had eyes so big and bright they could blind you. And a cry so terrifying that it could turn your hair white overnight. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. Don't be silly, Mark. Put your lights 
on if you're scared. Oh. Oh. Ah. <gasps> the creature. Don't be so silly. And please let go of my hand, both of you. I was just trying to make you feel safer. I think we should stay here till the lights have gone. Shall I hold your hand, Leo? <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was behind you. So did I. We have to go back and look for her. Well, not on our own. It's too scary. We'll have to wake Bob up. Bob! Wake up! Bob! Oh, now what? Wake up! Bob, we did something silly. And we've lost Dizzy. We're really sorry, Dizzy. We didn't realise you weren't with us until we got back to the yard. Are you OK, Dizzy? I'm fine, but he isn't. Well, he's hurt his leg. I'll take him to see Tilly the vet first thing. Can you look after him until then, Dizzy? I'd love to. He's looked after me by eating all the creepy crawlies. Ew. <laughs> Huh? <gasps> How did all that happen? That might have been us, Bob. I think we're going to have to come back very early tomorrow, otherwise we won't finish in time for Phil's summer camp booking. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> did you have a nice night's sleep in your cosy bed, Leo? Everything seems scarier at night. <laughs> it was only me scooping dizzy. We're really sorry about the mess, Mr Lucas. We'll put everything right. You'll see. Amazing, Bob. Thank you all for finishing on time. Hello? Hi, Bob, it's, Tilly. Ooh, it's the vet. Hi, Tilly. How's the patient? Not much better. That's wonderful. Thanks, Tilly. No problem. Bye. Bye. The hedgehog's doing really well, thanks to you, Dizzy. Tilly's taking it to a rescue centre, and they'll release it back into the wild as soon as its leg is properly healed. Brilliant! Wendy got this for you, Dizzy. It's an animal care badge. For looking after the hedgehog. Oh, thank you! Oh, I've got a summer camp badge, even though I've still not been camping. Well, you're all very welcome to try again tonight. Oh, <laughs> hello, Bob. What are you doing here? Just making sure you don't all scare yourselves with spooky stories again. 
Oh, 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 that's hot. Oh, ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, it's hot. That's hot. Hard hat, check. Tool belt, check. Mayonnaise, check. Can I fix lunch? Yes, I can. Wendy and Leo don't know how lucky they are today, Pilchard. I'm making them a surprise. Sardine sandwiches a la Bob. <laughs> Morning, team. Morning, Bob. Let's go. Today, we're finishing work on Chef Tatty's brand new revolving restaurant, the Flying Saucepan. Woohoo! Awesome. It looks like a spaceship. That's the whole idea, Scoop. So I'll be building the kitchen, while Leo, Muck, Scoop, and Lofty will decorate this entrance. We'll have a spaceship ramp and moon rocks to make it look like we're on another planet. Yay! <laughs> And I'll be wiring the floor so that it turns round and round like a merry-go-round. So diners can enjoy different scenery while they eat. Does that sound fun? Yay! Yay! And for you two, an extra special treat. I've made my speciality dish for lunch. Sardine sandwiches! Yay! Yay. I knew you'd be excited. <laughs> Hello, Chef Tatty. Oh, it's my favourite team of building buddies. Can we give you a hand? Aye. There are ingredients for my chef's special at the opening banquet tonight. Creamy aubergine fettuccine and flame-grilled meatballs with a hint of rosemary. Mmm. Now that sounds delicious. But not quite as delicious as my sardine sarnies, eh? Right, team. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Great job, everyone. It really looks like the kind of place an alien will call home. Um, what's an alien? Everyone knows what an alien is. It's, a uh, um... Leo, what's an alien? Aliens are little green men. Visitors from a faraway planet. Like tourists. On a holiday. What do they look like? Well, I think they have a green skin and three eyes and four legs. And for breakfast, they like to eat. Lunch! I'll be back soon. Stay out of trouble, you three. Little green men look like friendly little creatures. I'd love to meet one. <gasps> look! Green footprints with one, two, three, <gasps> four feet. They must belong to a little green man. Perhaps he's here on holiday in Spring City. Yay! Come on, everyone, follow me. The little green man went this way. the last floor panel fitted. Let's take it for a test spin. Bravo! That is brilliant! With this remote control, we can change the speed of the revolving floor. You can even change direction. That's great, Wendy. You've certainly earned your sardine sandwiches. I hope everyone's hungry. Feast your eyes on these delicious crumbs. Someone's eaten all of my sardine sandwiches. Not a problem. Why not just whip up an omelette on the cooktop? 
Oh, um, I'm afraid I don't know how to make anything fancy. Trust me, my wee building buddy. Anyone can cook. Chef Tetty will teach you. You see, cooking is a simple art. This is my paintbrush. Just like this is your paintbrush. That's a hammer. Let's sizzle! Oops. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Bob. You can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. OK, Bob. Ready, steady, flip! What happened to the... Omelette. Into me you and it's so unfair. I mean, I know you did. The sandwich there. Three, two, one. The aliens in the lift. Oh, no. Lunch is served. Bon appetit. Uh, looks scrumptious. It tasted better when it was on my head. I guess not everyone's a whiz in the kitchen. Are we going faster? That's not supposed to happen. Whoa! Whoa! She wants to go home. Uh oh. Oh no! Help! Bob, do something! Fast! Oh, oh. <sighs> Got it. Pilchard! Fancy a sardine sandwich a la Bob for supper? Someone likes my cooking. Leo? Chef Tatty? Are you OK? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. We've only got an hour until the guests arrive, and we need to finish the kitchen. And I need to finish my banquet. Mayor Madison's the guest of honour, and she's never late. We'd better get building. I'd better get cooking. And voila! The little green man didn't go home after all. He's decided to stay. He's here. I'll try to talk to him. <clears throat> Greetings, space tourist from a faraway planet. I am your friend, Muck. Hello, Muck. It's space. Leo? <laughs> And Pilchard. She's got green paint on her paws. So it wasn't a little green man, but a little blue cat. <laughs> now I feel a bit silly. Oh, <laughs> you are a friendly little creature after all. Wow! Doesn't this alien entrance look fabulous, Mr. Bentley? Look, Mayor, there's even a trail of alien footprints. A nice touch. Mm, isn't it? <laughs> Voila! Mmm, delicious!
delicious. Thank you, Chef Tatty. <laughs> and thank you, Bob. You truly are a whiz in the kitchen. Just stay away from omelettes and sardine sandwiches. Morning, all. Hi, Bob. Hello, Suffy. Who's this? He's Rex, and he's my dog. Hello, Rex. <laughs> Excuse me, Suffy. Must attend to my cat. Don't worry, Pilchard. It's only a checkup. Oh, Bob and Pilchard. Take a seat. I'll be with you in a minute. New dog, Tilly. The Cooper here. No, I'm just looking after him. Yes, I am. Oh, woof, 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 woof. Oh, woof, 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 woof. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ahem. Excuse me one moment. Morning. Yes, this is the vet. Well, I can fit you in later today. Sorry, it's rather noisy here. Can you speak up? <laughs> Good doggy, heel. Stop! Wow. Rex! Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh, goodness! Are you all right, Safi? Yes, fine, thank you. What happened? Just a guess, but I think Cooper likes to chase cats. Here, Cooper. Good dog. Sit. 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 Oh, oh. Bob, what am I going to do? That was Mayor Madison on the phone. She's bringing her cat in to be groomed for a special photo. Oh, what if Cooper chases the mayor's cat? Maybe you should have a reception area that keeps cats and dogs separate. Then you'd never have a problem. Could you build that for me today, Bob? Oh, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, right. I'll do that then. <gasps> Stay. There's a good one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Once Cooper settles down. The mayor and her cat are arriving this evening. We have to get this job done today. That is not a lot of time. Oh, and can you keep an eye on Cooper? He can't come on my rounds. I've got a lot of cats to see today. <laughs> right, team. We're going to turn the vet's reception area into two rooms. One room for the cats to wait in. And one room for the dogs. It's a simple enough job. So, let's get to work. Wait a minute. This makes a really loud noise. It might scare Pilchard and Cooper. I can take care of Pilchard and Cooper. I'm really, really good with animals. Just watch. Uh, Leo, you can't take them together. Remember, they need to be kept separate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. I'll take one at a time. In the meantime, we can do all the jobs that aren't so scary for the animals. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. I'm ready to start digging out the new path. Hold on, Muck. Leo is supposed to be taking care of Cooper before we start any noisy work. And Leo would better hurry. We're running out of time. I wonder where he is. Here, Pilchard. 
Pilchard, come to me. Oh, please. Bob's waiting to start work. Wow. Oof. Come on, Leo. You can do it. Gotcha. Wow. Now to take care of Cooper. should touch the new plasterboard walls, the paint's still wet. Um, Bob, shouldn't the new door be in place by now? I'm waiting for Leo to take Cooper. Don't worry, I'll take Cooper. <laughs> then I'll come back to help you cut out the wall and lay the path. Now can I dig out the new path? Not yet, Muck. Now you have to wait for Wendy to come back. And yes, I know, Lofty, time is running out. Pilchard. Quickly now. I need to go get Cooper! <laughs> Pilchard! <laughs> <laughs> Quite a plan. Ah, we can't wait any longer. Muck, Lofty, you're going to have to start the path by yourselves. Yeah! Oh, thank goodness. And I'll go and find the others. Cooper! Look out! with animals. Really? Hadn't noticed. Can someone please separate this cart and dog? Oh, you have a path to lay. Hey, don't dogs like to play ball? Maybe you are good with animals after all. I knew it! OK. We haven't got much time until the mayor and her cat arrive. Let's get this job finished. Yes, yes Bob! Bob. here to see the vet. Her fur needs a good fluffing and puffing out. Oh, yes. Through the cat door, please, Mayor Madison. Who's my pretty little darling? Thank you. Thank you so much. I 
say, Bob, would you mind taking our photograph? It's for the town hall newspaper, you know. Of course. No problem. And smile. Cooper! No! Not Lady Tibble! Oh! Get down, Bob! No! No! Bob, do something! I'm really excited about this project, Sky. Super excited, Bob! <laughs> um, yes, I guess. Sky wants us to build a 100 metre zip line all the way down this slope. I need it finished as soon as possible, though. It's part of my new outdoor fitness program, which starts this evening. Team Bob won't let you down, Sky. Super! And when it's done, you guys can be the first down the line. <laughs> Brilliant! Need to fly. I've got running, swimming and gymnastics all before lunch. <laughs> what will the zip line look like, Bob? We'll build a platform up here and run the cable down to the bottom of the slope where we'll build a break with crash mats and a net for a soft landing. You all right, Leo? Yeah, fine. Really, thanks, Lofty. So, can we build it? Yes, we can! Right, Scoop. We're going to build a break for the zip line. I need you to drill holes diagonally into the ground so the poles can go in like this. No problem, Bob. Oh, only one bolt left. We used a lot to fix the platform. There, done. Wendy, it's Bob. Hi, Bob. We're going to need more bolts this end. I'll bring some down. Thanks, Wendy. Leo, can you take charge and finish the platform for me? OK. Thanks. What's next? Well, I think we need to place this extra thick post. It's the important one for the zip line. <laughs> Come on, Leo. Move it left a bit. <laughs> now right a bit. <laughs> And down we go. Phew. <laughs> it's a good job done. You're very quiet, Leo. What's up? I'm just not sure I'm very good at being a builder, Lofty. I can't even guide a simple post into a hole without help. Don't be silly. You're the best apprentice ever. <sighs> I guess. I'm heading down to Bob, so I'll take the cable with me. Coming, Dizzy. <gasps> oh, yes! Are you sure everything's OK, Leo? You don't seem like yourself today. No, no, I'm fine, thanks. Really. Hmm. I want to pour more sloppy concrete. <laughs> thanks, Wendy. Dizzy? Bob, do you think Leo's OK? He seems a bit down. Really? Hmm. I wonder what's bothering him. I don't think Leo wants to be a builder anymore. What? That's what he told Lofty. Ah! Building is the best thing you can do. Bob, if I'm finished here, I'll go and help Leo and Lofty. OK, Scoot. Hey, Lofty, Dizzy says there's something up with Leo. Yeah, he's been acting a bit weird. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't believe it. What did I do wrong this time? Uh. What's happened to the line? I'm sure Leo fixed it to the platform. I'll go and see how he's doing. 
Oh, I didn't use enough bolts. That could have been really dangerous. I'm really not cut out to be a builder. Leo, where are you going? I think I should give up, Lofty. Building isn't for me. Oh, oh no. Leo's going to leave the team. We have to make things right, Scoop. Leo, uh, you take a break. Tea, biscuits, whatever. We'll sort this out in no time. Uh, got it. It'll be all right, Leo. You'll see. Don't leave us. Lovely. The concrete's not set. Oh, no. I've made things a hundred times worse. Oh, I know. I know. Never fear. Scoop will save the day. I'll just push it up and again. Sneak this. That's it, Scoop. Keep going. Keep going. Too far, too far. It's boom, boom, boom. That is not good. What's going on? <gasps> well, um... Sorry, Sorry Bob. Bob. What happened to the platform? We were just trying to fix things because Leo wants to leave the team. Leo wants to what? Where is he? Leo? Are you OK? What's up? I'm sorry, Bob. My mind isn't on the job. Is it true you want to leave? No, but I took my college test yesterday. I studied really hard, but I think I failed. I'm no good as a builder, and now because of me, Sky's zipline is wrecked. Tests aren't everything, Leo. You need to study and practice to be a good builder. And you didn't ruin the zipline. No, that was us. We panicked. Hmm. The posts have split, so we can't rebuild it as it was. But maybe we can work something out together. Well, Sky, there's been a tiny setback, but, um... <gasps> We're thinking of making the zip line longer and more thrilling. Thrilling? How? We could attach the line to this tree. It looks strong enough, and we can get it checked for safety. That sounds fantastic! But we don't want to hurt the tree, so we could use... Um, Strong cables wrapped around it, instead of drilling bolts into it. But how will people get up there? With a staircase, made of logs. This sounds very rustic and outdoorsy. I love it! It's my college tutor. I must have done really badly in my test for her to call me. Answer it, Leo. I need to know. I need to know now. Uh, hello. Leo here. Really? Really? Wow. Thank you. Yes, I will. Thanks. Bye. I passed with top marks. Brilliant. That's super. Well done. You know, Leo, Bob had to take that test three times before he passed. And look how good he is now. Well done, Leo. It takes study, practice and imagination to be a brilliant builder. So you won't be leaving the team after all, will you, Leo? No, I guess not, Lofty. You're stuck with me for good. OK, guys, a promise is a promise. You get first try on the zip line. Uh, well, I'm not sure. Um... Go on! You can do it! Yeah, it'll be like whiz, whoosh, whee! You know? Fun! Never fear! <laughs> and never.
never give up. Whoa! So, this is the finished splash zone. <laughs> <laughs> you missed me. OK, now, you've all done an excellent job building Spring City Splash, but we still have one thing left. The Double Dragon Water Slide. Double means two of something, so there are two dragon water slides. Guests will climb a ladder up to the dragon's tail then slide down the dragon's body and shoot out through its mouth into the splash pool. Dragons are the best. Hi, guys! <laughs> Don't mind us. I'm just showing JJ around the water park. It's my birthday and I'm having a party here tomorrow morning. <laughs> so we better go. There's still a lot to organise. Did you hear that? We have to finish by tomorrow morning. Let's get to work. Yeah! I cannot wait to see the slides. I love dragons. Let's see who is doing what job. Scoop to build the dragon slides. No, sorry, Scoop. I need you to help build the support beams for the slides. Oh, but... You can see the slides once you've finished your job. OK. I love dragons. I love their pointy tails. I love that they breathe fire. Ah, oh, Scoop, you're here. We need to make a trench for the slide support beams to stand in. Can you start by digging a hole over here, please? Uh-huh. I love dragon scaly skin. I love the horns on their heads. Is this deep enough, Wendy? Mm, no, not quite. See how this marker sticks out of the hole? Yeah. We need the hole to be deep enough so that the marker fits in completely. Got it! Now, Scoop, you have to dig the trench as deep as this hole. Otherwise, the support beams won't stand up straight. I'll send Leo to help you. I've got to meet Tutum when he arrives with the slide sections. Hmm. Nope. Still not deep enough. Better keep digging. He's here with the dragon slides. I can't see anything from here. I have to see those dragons. Hey, Scoop, stop. There they are. Wendy sent us to help finish the support beams. Scoop, you come in. Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> Bob, the picture shows that the sign is in the middle of the roof. So you need to move it this way. OK. Uh, moving it. Uh, wow, this is heavy. Uh, a little bit more, Bob. A bit more. Uh, Just a bit more. Uh, 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 oh, wait. I think you went too far. Okay, before we start, I have to check that the trench is deep enough. Hmm, the marker's sticking out. I'm not sure the support beams will stand up in this. Let me check the plans again. Hmm, oh, I've got an idea. Why don't we just start? Lofty, you lower in the beams and I'll hold them in place. I don't know. We really should wait for Leo to check it's OK. What if the trench isn't deep enough? Oh, 
I'm sure it is. I was digging for ages and ages. Well, uh... Oh, come on. I really want to see the dragon slides. Uh, okay. If you're sure. <gasps> okay. It's in place. And straight. Dizzy, pour the concrete. You got it! I'm going to test the lights. Can you watch and make sure that they're working? Yep. I'll be the best watcher ever, ever, ever. Great. Hello, JJ. How are the party plans going? OK, Muck. Get ready. So, Muck, did the lights work? Oh, uh, sorry, Bob. Right. Right. OK. I've got it. I think. Let's get started. <gasps> Finished! And now I'm off to see the dragons. Huh? But the trench. Was it deep enough? Scoop said it was. He dug for ages. Oh, right. I must have misunderstood the plans. They were confusing. OK. Let's build this tower. Dragons so much, why don't you go in front and make sure that there's nothing in two tons way for these last few meters? Really? Can I? Oh, that's so cool! Thanks, Wendy. Ready, two ton? Ready, Scoop. Okay, now the slide sections are here. I need Lofty to lower them onto the beams. Then Leo and I will secure them in place. Got it? Got it. Yes, Bob. OK, Lofty, let's start with the dragon heads. Right too. That's great, Lofty. There. All done. Thanks, Lofty. This is amazing! Super exciting! Told you dragons are the best. Dragon bodies in place. Only the tails left to do. Huh? <gasps> Bob, locked it, wait! The beams are going to collapse! <gasps> Lofty, move away slowly. But, Bob, the tail's going to fall. Bob! Don't worry, I'll catch it. Leo, get down, quick. Uh-oh. Uh. <sighs> what happened? I'm sorry. I got confused with the plans and I didn't check the support beams. They can't have been set deep enough in the concrete. No, it, it's all my fault. I don't think I dug the trench deep enough. Scoop, I know support beams don't sound as exciting as dragons, but they are just as important. I know that now. I, I didn't do my job properly. I'm really sorry. But what are we going to do? It's JJ's pool party tomorrow. I would work all night to fix this. And that's exactly what we're going to have to do, Scoop. So, team, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can!
Dragon slides are the best! I love their ladder tails and their twisty bodies and the... Oh. <laughs> and the way rockets shoot out of their mouths! <laughs> oh. oh, I'm soaked! Are all these games going to go inside the shopping mail book? No, Muck. Roland wants us to set them up outside for children to play on. Oh, here he is now. Bob! Hi, Wendy, Leo. I've been planning my first game shop for so long and today it's finally going to open. We've had lots of fun getting everything ready. I can't tell you how excited I am. This is how the snakes and ladders board will look, Roland. I always loved playing that as a child. But mine has real ladders to go up and snake shoots to slide down. I think the doll's house is fun. <sighs> And it's big enough for the children to actually walk inside. These will look amazing. Now, where's my favourite? The giant piano. Hmm. Oh, is there a piano too? Yes, Scoop. It's just there on Tutan. It has keys like a normal piano, Scoop. But mine is electronic and sits on the ground. Like a synthesizer. Yes, Leo. You obviously know your musical instruments. <laughs> well, I do love music. Um. What's a synthesizer? It's an electronic keyboard, Muck. But how do you play a giant keyboard with your hands, Roland? Do you need a real-life giant? That's the really fun part, Scoop. You don't play it with your hands, you play it with your feet. Oh, I was hoping to meet a giant. Do you really play it with your feet? Yep. And I've got a very special mystery guest coming to show everyone how at the opening later. Cool. I'm glad you think so, because with all your musical talent, I think you should be the one to put the keyboard together. Seriously? I'm always serious about having fun, Leo. That's a great idea, Roland. But if it's such an important job, Leo probably needs a helper. Can I be the helper, Bob? <laughs> yes, Scoop. Thank you for volunteering. But I don't need any help, Bob. I'm sure you don't, Leo. But here's a diagram showing the keyboard layout anyway, just in case you get stuck. Can I say I know lots about music? Hmm. Why does the diagram have numbers 1 to 40 on it, Roland? Uh, because that's the number of keys on the piano? Absolutely right, Leo. There are 40 keys, and each key is a different note or sound scoop. I knew you were the man for the job. But now I'd better check how things are going inside my game shop. Right. So, Leo and Scoob will be putting the keyboard together and I'm going to need the rest of the team to build the other games. Right on. Too. So, you're both sure you know how to assemble the keyboard? We've got the diagram if we get stuck. It looks just like a giant jigsaw, Bob, and I am brilliant at jigsaws. Glad to hear it. Give me a shout if you need any help. OK, let's see what we've got to build this keyboard with. That must be the base of the keyboard. Yep. And those are the keys. Why are some white and some black? I thought you knew loads about music. I do, but not everything. The white keys and the black ones sound different to each other. Oh, you do know your stuff. Bring them all over to the base then, please, Scoop. Okie dokie. Hmm. What are all those numbers for? Oh, yes. They're supposed to be 40 keys, so that's just to check we've got the right amount. Uh... Hey, they're all mixed up now. I'm going to need that diagram. Where is it? Oh, it's over there somewhere, but we don't need that. Look! It's easy. We can tell which key we need by the shape on the keyboard. Oh, yeah. These two are just the same shape so we can put them in wherever they fit. It's like a jigsaw, just like I said. Good thinking, Scoop. Are you two ready to start? Sure thing, Bob. Can we build this? Yes, we can! It looks perfect!
<laughs> and it sounds... Just terrible! Oh. oh, Leo. What's gone wrong, Leo? Well, Scoop mixed the keys up when he moved them. Huh? I told you I needed that diagram. You said you knew all about music, Leo. You shouldn't pretend to know something when you don't. Well, at least I know the difference between the black keys and the white ones. <gasps> OK, OK, you two. Time out. <sighs> <sighs> Will I have to cancel my special guest, Bob? No, no, you won't have to do that. Leave it with us, Roland. Are you sure? We're certain. <sighs> now, without blaming each other, what really happened? I got a bit carried away when Roland asked me to put the keyboard together. I thought I knew more about music than I do. Sorry, Wendy. Sorry, Bob. But you had the diagram to follow. The keyboard looked like a big jigsaw, so I didn't think we needed it. I'm really sorry, too. Didn't you know that some keys look the same but sound different? We do now. And every key has a special position it needs to be in to play its note properly. Can you find the diagram, Scoop? Yes, Bob. Look, all the keys are numbered underneath. I found it. Good work, Scoop. So all we have to do is follow the diagram. Oh, Bob, we can do this. We really can. But first, we have to tell Roland we're going to put it right. We're so sorry, Mr. Sweet. We should have followed your diagram. We'll do it properly this time. So I don't need to cancel my special guest? No. Are you going to tell us who it is? Not yet. I don't want to spoil the surprise. But he'll be here in no time. So can you fix my keyboard, please? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Bob, thank you all. <laughs> Leo. Well, hey, the Spring City Rockets are here. <laughs> wow. wow! This is the coolest thing ever. Couleur than moi? Huh? Impossible. C'est moi. Yes, I am, little lady. That's my favourite dance show ever! Meet my mystery guest, everyone. I needed someone who was good with their feet as well as musical. And it so happens, I am not just a dancer extraordinaire, but a very accomplished pianist too. Please show us, Mr D'Souza. the games before the grand opening. Oh, yes, please. I'm going in the doll's house. <laughs> <laughs> Join in. When I point, hit top C, okay? 
You know which note that is, right? Right! <gasps> oh, oh, sorry. That wasn't top C, was it, Wendy? Uh, no. Definitely not. I think maybe I'll have a go on the snakes and ladders instead. Come on, everyone. Let's get going. Right to. Are you ready, Bob? Me too, Bob. I'm here. Huh? huh? Um, Mark. One, two, three. Ah! Whoa. Ouch. Ooh. Morning, everyone. Now, today's a very important day for you three. Are we working in Spring City, Bob? Are we building something big? Are we, um... Um... I can't think of anything to ask, Bob. I'll explain everything after I've got my toolbox. You three meet me and Wendy by the jet spray. Last one there's a wheelbarrow! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, stop! Ouch. Ow. Watch out, Merc! Ow! Sorry, Scoop. All right, you three. We need you on your best behaviour. It's your checkup day. Checkup check day? day? I am not aware of that phrase. It's the day we make sure your tyres, lights and brakes are all working properly and your engines are in good order. Curtis is coming over to give each of you a full mechanical examination. Curtis! Hey, Curtis! We like Curtis. And he'll give you a mark out of ten. The higher your mark, the better you've done. Hooray! I'm going to get top marks! How do you know, Scoop? Because I'm yellow, I'm bright and I get things right! <laughs> But, Bob, I don't want to be examined. Don't worry, Lofty. All three of you are in great condition. Well, um... Shh! But first, we need you looking your best. So, it's time for a good scrub. <gasps> oh, no! Can we wash it? Oh. Um, yes, yes, we can! can. Well, don't you three look smart? Yeah! I'm yellow, I'm clean, I'm the cleanest machine! Does that mean I'll get extra marks, Bob? <laughs> we'll see. I'll call Curtis and tell him you're ready. No. What's the matter? What if I don't get any marks at all? Don't worry. Bob said we're all in great condition. I'm going to get top marks. My top lights work. My bucket works. My emergency light flashes. <gasps> oh, no! My emergency light's broken! He's yellow, he's strong, but his light's gone wrong. <laughs> it's your fault for bashing into me! <gasps> that is so unfair! It was met you! You did it on purpose! I know you did! What? That could have really hurt! If you hadn't stopped, I wouldn't have bumped into you and then... Oh, never mind. I'm sure Bob will fix it for you. Curtis won't be long. He's on his way. On his way? I'm never going to get top marks with a broken light. It won't matter, Scoop. I'll have to hide somewhere until Curtis is gone. If they can't find me, they can't give me a checkup. Ah! Oh, no! I'm all mucky now. That's even less marks for me. I need somewhere to hide. The back gate! I'll hide outside the back gate! Oh, 
Bob said that we shouldn't go out of the back gate without telling him first. <gasps> Curtis is here. Oh, no, I can't let him see me like this. Yes, they'll never find me in here. Ow! I scuffed my tyres now! Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi Curtis. Curtis. It's checkup time. We're all ready for you, Curtis. Not quite. Where's Scoop? Um, Scoop's not here. Um, he doesn't want to check up because he won't get top marks. But it doesn't matter what marks you get. We'd better look for him. Good idea. I'll get on with it. So, who's first? Mm-mm, not me. No. I don't mind going first. I'll open up the garage in case you need anything. Uh, um... Scoop? Is that you? Uh, um... Oh, no, I'm not going to get any marks at all. Scoop, where are you? Well done, Mark. You get top marks. Ten out of ten. Yeah. What? Top marks? Scoop. Ah, uh, just the machine we're looking for. Oh. Hello, Scoop. <gasps> um, Scoop's not here. Right. Then who are we talking to? Um, oh. Oh, Scoop. All you needed was a new light. But now look at you. I'm sorry. I wanted to get the top marks, and now I won't get any. Well, we'll see about that. Can we fix him? Yes, yes we, we can. can. New. Hooray! Well done, Scoop. Right then. Who's next for a checkup? Oh no. Oh. Um. Lofty? Huh? You're next. No, I can't. I don't want to check up. I'm scared. Don't be scared, Lofty. I'm sure you're even braver than me. Do you really think so? Let's have our checkups together. Thanks, Scoop. That's two checkups coming right up. Engines, please. Faster, please. More revs. Okay. Mm. Excellent depth of thread. Perfectly round. Good. Emergency light, please. Mm -hmm. Higher, please. A little more. Thank you. Exhaust stack. <coughs> Thank you. Check. 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 Okay. That's it. Your checkups are done. Ah. Who knew? Something's wrong. So, how did they do, Curtis? Well, I checked Mark earlier and he got 10 out of 10. <laughs> Top marks. Yay! Scoop? He's got 10 out of 10. Yes! 
Oh, thank goodness. And Lofty. Hmm. Uh-oh. He's got top marks, too. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, yeah. How exciting. I knew I'd get top marks right from the start. Hmm. There's just one problem. Oh, no. I knew there was something wrong. Didn't I tell you there was something wrong? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Don't worry, Lofty. You all look bright, shiny and clean. But you, Bob, huh? need a jolly good wash. Hmm. So it's time for a good scrub. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> hey, it's cold. Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> I think you missed a bit there, Wendy. Happy birthday, Curtis! I can't believe it. How old? Yeah, Dad. You're not getting any younger. Mm, thanks, Leo. Come on, we'd better go. I'm starving. A slap-up lunch at Chef Tatty's, eh? Now that's a proper birthday treat. Now, Bob, until we get back, you'll have to look after my garage. Are you sure you understand how this place works? No problem, Curtis. Relax. I am relaxed, kind of. Just remember my motto. At Curtis's Garage, we, we put, put the, the service, service into service, service station. station. Nice one, Bob. <laughs> when you're told something ten times, it tends to sink in. Come on, Alfred. Let's go. Happy birthday, Curtis. OK, team, this is the secret plan. While Leo is keeping Curtis busy, we're going to be working on a big birthday surprise for him. Oh, well, is it a pile of gravel? I love gravel. Is it gravel, Bob? No, Muck, it's not a pile of gravel. We're giving Curtis's garage workshop a complete makeover. I love garages. If I hadn't gone into building, I reckon I could have been a mechanic. What your problem is, Lofty mate, is your brakes are all gone. <laughs> well, I need you to be a builder today, Scoop, because we're putting up a new roof, a new sign, and best of all, installing a new vehicle inspection lift. What's a vehicle inspection lift? Well, Muck, it's a... Uh... It's all right, Lofty, I'll explain. A vehicle inspection lift is a lift to raise vehicles off the ground so they can be inspected underneath. Exactly. Now we've got a lot to do in not a lot of time. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Maybe we could just get a sandwich from that cafe and head back. A sandwich? I'm just worried about leaving someone else in charge. Oh, come on, Dad. It's not someone else, it's Bob. And it's your birthday. We're about to eat at the best restaurant in the whole of Spring City, so just relax and enjoy it. I am relaxed. Slowly. Gently. That's it, Lofty. A little to the left. And now all the way down. It's in. Excellent job. Oh, a beautiful piece of kit. Us mechanic types know these things. I could totally mend a car, no problem, with the help of one of these. What's Scoop on about? I don't know. I don't think he does either. Well, that's the final panel of roof in place. All we need to do now is put up the neon sign and take down the scaffolding tower. Looks like we'll have Curtis's surprise finished right on time. As long as there aren't any problems. Hello. Could somebody help me? I seem to have a bit of a problem. What can I cook for you today? Uh, what's the quickest thing, Chef Daddy? The quickest? Oh, <laughs> oh, well, the minute steak. That takes a minute. I'll take it. What about you, son? Don't keep the poor man waiting. We've got places we need to be. Um, so, what's in the fish pasta? Fish and pasta. Right, OK, good, good. And, uh, ham and mushroom pizza. What's that? It's a pizza with ham and mushrooms on it. Oh. 
And how about the burger and chips? Uh, is that... Um... Chips and a burger, yes. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> I think I'll have all of them. All of them? No. I'm a bit peckish. OK, Mr Bentley. I think all the tyres are at the right pressure. Yes, but I think maybe a little more in this one. Uh, what do you think, Philip? Very well, sir. OK, then. Just a little bit. A little more. A little more. No, no I think that's too much. Bob, you've got a bit of a queue building up. <laughs> Hiya, Bob! Hi, Betsy. I'll be with you soon. We need to get on with putting up the neon sign. I know, but I promised to put the service into service station. Why don't you let out some of the air and we'll start again? <sighs> uh, hello? Leo, we're behind schedule, so you're going to have to stall your dad for a while longer. Uh. Love thing. So, gentlemen, would you like a dessert? No, thanks, Chef Tati. I think we're both full, especially one of us. Uh, actually, I think I might have room for one of each. One of each? Oh, the boy must have hollow legs. There. Now, what do you think, Bob? Isn't it flashing ever so slightly too quickly? Huh. It looks OK to me, Mr Bentley. Oh, maybe it's flashing ever so slightly too slowly. Uh, let's check it against the other indicator. So, how are you, Betsy? Well, I I've been better, Scoop. I've got this funny rattle, you see. Mmm, sounds like your big end. I beg your pardon? Yeah, you need to get that looked at sharpish. But Curtis isn't here and Bob's far too busy. Well, you seem to know what you're talking about. Yes, I do, don't I? Thank you. In fact... Follow me! Coming through! Coming through! Minibus in need of immediate mechanical attention. Just pop on there, Bets. Scoop, what are you up to? Nothing for you to worry about. Oh, I always get worried when he says that. I really don't think you should mess about with the lift before Bob checks it's working OK. Here we go. Up, up, up. That should do it. Now, where's the stop button? Scoop. Where's the stop button? Scoop. Where's the stop button? Oh, no! Betsy! Betsy, are you OK? I'm fine, Bob. Bit of a scratch to my paintwork but it looks like your new garage roof came off worse. Oh, I should never have put Betsy on the lift. Now I've damaged her and the new roof. I'm a useless mechanic. I'm sorry, Bob. Don't worry, Scoop. I can sort out the damage to the roof and respray Betsy too. You know, the view from up here is amazing. I can see all the way to Spring City. Oh, there's Curtis and Leo coming down the road. <laughs> oh, no. We've not finished the workshop yet, Bob. How are we going to stop Curtis and Leo getting back? I've ruined Curtis's birthday surprise too. If anyone needs mechanical attention, it's me. That's it. Well done, Scoop. You've just given me an idea. Hi, Bob. We're on our way back. I couldn't eat any more. Listen, Leo, we need more time to finish the workshop. I've sent Scoop down to meet you. He might need some, uh... Mechanical attention. Okay, Bob. I get it. Bye. Ooh, not so fast, please, Alfred. Nonsense, Alfred. Quick as you like. going on? Oh, I don't feel well. Oh, that makes two of us. Well, Scoop, what's the problem? I've got this funny rattle. Well, I can't hear anything. Yeah, you've, you've got to listen carefully, really carefully, really, really carefully. 
<coughs> rattle? No, oh, uh, I heard that. Yeah. Yes, I definitely rattled there. Right. That's the lift, the roof and the sign sorted. I think we're all ready for the birthday boy. Not quite. I've got one more surprise up my sleeve. Well, you'd better hurry because here they come. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Curtis! Wow! My workshop. I don't know what to say. It was all Leo's idea. And I baked this for you too. That's amazing. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, everyone. And Leo, how can I ever thank you for such a wonderful surprise? Well, by the look of him, don't offer him any cake. Well, the Spring City Ice Rink is coming on well. Not too much left to do. We should be finished by the end of the week. I can't wait to see the Rockets play ice hockey on it. Looks like you don't have to. Over here! To me! Oh, they're so fast. They'll be even faster on the ice. Oh, playing ice hockey looks so much fun. <laughs> I'm afraid ice and machines as big as you don't really mix, Muck. Game for later. Remember why you're here. Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, Betsy. Uh, hello, Rockets. Um, Bob, we were supposed to be playing an ice hockey match at the Spellertown rink tonight. But their chiller broke down and the ice melted. So we wondered, uh... If we could play here instead? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but it's not really ready. Oh, please! 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 What if we worked really fast? We can work really fast. Well, um, maybe we could. Could? Bob said they could. Uh, Yay! 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 Thank, Thank you, Bob! Bob's the best! That's enough Bob loving for one day. Come on, jump in, Rockets. I'll bring you back later for a final practice. Hmm? Uh, what just happened? You just told the Rockets that we would have the rink finished for tonight. I did? Then in that case, we will. Yay! Yay! Right. Wendy and I will go to the yard to pick up the clear plastic panels that will surround the rink. While you lot get cracking. Can we build it? Yes, yes we can! We Cold as a polar bear's nose. Where do we get the ice from, Leo? We make it ourselves. From water. That's right, Lofty. When the water touches the pipes, it gets colder. And when it's really cold, it turns to ice. You mean ice is just solid water? Exactly. Gently does it. Nearly there. Nearly there. That's it, Tutong. Perfect. Right. That's everything. Yep. We best get back to see how the rest of the team's getting on. Hmm. It must be ready by now. Wow. Things really do go faster on ice. 
I've always wanted to be a little bit faster. on the ice rink should have frozen by now. Fancy a quick skate before the Spring City Rockets arrive, Bob? Hmm, maybe. I used to love skating when I was a kid. Take it from me, Bob. Ice is no fun at all if you're a machine. Had some bad experiences, have you two, Tom? Bad? I'll say. The Frozen North was the worst, wasn't it? The roads in the Frozen North were simply treacherous. Ice everywhere. Trucks and lorries sliding all over the place. Two times I said to myself, you're going to have to go very, very slowly up here in the frozen north. Two ton? Yes, Wendy? There's no ice on the roads in Spring City, so we don't have to go slowly here, do we? No, no. Of course not. No ice on the road here. You're quite right. <laughs> It takes me back, though, thinking about it. And it's a good thing I did go so slowly in the frozen hole. Because one day... <laughs> there are too many bricks here for me to carry in one go, Leo. That's OK, Scoop. We can get Muck to carry those. Um, where is Muck? I haven't seen him in ages. <laughs> Mark, what are you doing? Hey, Scoop, catch this! Scoop, no! Oh, got it! <laughs> now get this one! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I want a go. No, Lofty, not you too! Slow down, Lofty! I... And so that, you see, is how I managed to survive the icy dangers of the frozen north. Thanks, Tutan. You're very welcome, Bob. Well, it looks like they've started tidying up. They must be nearly finished. Out of the way! Gang are coming through! <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Sorry, Bob. I did try to warn them. Don't worry, Leo. Scoop! Stop! I can't, Bob! Neither can I! What are we going to do? I think the first thing will be to get this lot off the ice. Oh, thanks, Lofty. Your turn now, Muck. Yes, Wendy. Thank you. Shall I start my engine? No! Uh, no. Uh, please don't do that. Just leave everything to me. Ready? Here it goes. I'm really sorry, Bob. I thought playing ice hockey would be fun. I, I didn't mean to cause so much trouble. That's OK, Mug, but it was very dangerous. How are we going to get the rink finished before the rockets get back? The barriers are broken and we still have to get all the clear plastic panels up. It'll take ages carrying everything all the way round the rink. There is one way we could do it faster. How, Mark? You know how things move faster on ice? Well... Slide in!
That was a really good idea, Muck. Not bad for you. Thanks. And just in time. You did it! We've got time to practice before the game. It's so cool! You're welcome. Good, aren't they? And we've got great seats for when the game starts later. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job fixing those panels, Leo. <laughs> yeah, I did. Now, I would never have passed like that. Me neither. That was way off to the left. The thing you have to remember, Lofty, is that ice hockey is a very fast game. You have to stay in control. <laughs> Friendly little fellas, aren't they? Hi, guys. Hello, fishies. Hi, fish. Hello, fishies. Wait until you all meet the Sea Life Centre's newest member. Oh, is that a seahorse, Tilly? Or a humpback whale? Or how about a giant squid? Actually, it's a female tiger shark. Do you mean she's half tiger, half shark? <laughs> no, Muck. A tiger shark is a shark born with a stripy pattern on its skin. Sort of like a tiger. The stripes help it to blend in with the water camouflaging it from bigger fish while it's young. Will we still have to be here when the shark arrives? There's no need to be frightened of sharks, Leo. <laughs> Who said I was frightened? If it makes you feel any better, the tiger shark is just a pup. I've always wanted a pet puppy dog to play with. Dogs and sharks are kind of similar because they're both called pups when they're young and they both eat meat. We'll have to build a nice big aquarium tank for her to swim around in. And we'll need to finish it before she arrives for feeding time this evening. We'll make the tank look like the ocean, so she feels right at home. OK, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Shark has arrived at the Spring City docks. Are you ready to pick her up? Absolutely. I just need to pick the right machines for the job. Pick me, Bob. I'll help with the puppy. Pick me, 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 me. Lofty, we'll need your help lifting the shark. How exciting. And Muck, you can carry her inside a tank in your rear bin. Ooh, I can't wait. This is literally the greatest day of my life. Can I go too, Bob? Well, perhaps once you've finished your work here. Yes! Finish! <laughs> All right, then. Go on. Yes! But no hijinks. Promise? Promise! I can't wait to meet the new pet! It's not a... pet. That's it, Lofty. Nice and slowly. What are we going to call her? How about Captain Bubbles? Or Admiral Smiley? Little Miss Chompy. Wow. She's so stripey. Perfect. Hello, Stripey. I'm Scoop, your new best friend. We're going to have so much fun together. Running in the park, playing ball. All right, fellas. Lofty and I need to get back quickly to help Bob. Can you two look after the shark and drive slowly and carefully straight back to the Sea Life Centre? Then it'll be time for her feeding. All right, then. No problem, Tilly. Hear that, Muck? Tilly wants us to take Stripey for a walk around the neighbourhood. Hmm? I think she said take her straight back to the Sea Life Centre. But she also said we need to look after her. And a good pet owner gives his pet lots of exercise. Come on, let's go. Um. Yeah, all right, then. And this is Bob's yard, where we live. And look, there's Bob's pet. She's stripey too. Say hi! 
Pilchard! And don't forget to book me in for my yoga lattes. And that's Mayor Madison, who runs Spring City. Hey. Focus, Mr. Bentley. Mr. Bentley. Sh 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 shark. Are you all right, Mr. Bentley? Do you need a cup of tea? Uh... Thanks, Lofty. Oh, Leo, can you please fetch me my drill? I left it in the gift shop. Uh, there aren't any sharks in there, are there? Not that I know of. Relax, Leo. It's just a toy. See? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing to worry about. I promise that you'll love the shark as soon as she arrives. Which should be any minute now. Hey, there's Steffi! Wow! You're brilliant! Uh-huh. It's our pet shark. Awesome! Wicked. Can it do tricks? What kind of tricks? Like this. Cooper, shake hands. Speak. Ooh! Roll over. Good boy! Uh, Stripey, shake hands! Oh, she just needs a little practice. Stripey, speak. Maybe she's just shy. Stripey, roll over. Oh, I know. Stripey, swim in circles. That's it. Good girl. Well done. Clever fishy. Not bad, but can she play fetch? <laughs> Yeah, she is amazing at fetch. Watch. Stripey, fetch! Psst, Muck, need a little help. Hey. Oh, got it! Yeah, yeah. That was fun. Again. Fetch! <laughs> Oh, I'm stuck. All done. Once we fill it with filtered water, the tank will be ready for the new shark. Well, she should be here by now. Leo, you take Lofty and go and look for the others. Does it have to be me? That shark must be getting really hungry. We have to get Stripey back to the sea life centre for feeding time. Come on, Muck. I'm trying. Try harder, Muck. <sighs> Maybe taking Stripey for a walk wasn't such a good idea. <gasps> Scoop. Lofty, Leo, quick, we need your help. Oh, I can hear its stomach rumbling. That's just my engine. There's no need to be scared of Stripey Leo. Look. Oh, she's so cute. And hungry. We need to free Muck so we can get her back to the Sea Life Centre. Lofty, lower your hook. Leo, attach it to Muck's bucket. Stripey. Keep swimming in circles. Good girl. OK, team, can we fix this? Yes, yes we, we can. can.
goodness! Where have you been? We, uh, took her for a walk. I'm sorry, Tilly. We should have taken her straight home. Everyone, meet Stripey! Oh, isn't she awesome? OK, team, let's get Stripey into the tank. Up she goes. That's it, Lofty. Take it in steady. to fetch Bob's slippers. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, look, Scoop. There's a big storm coming. Wow. Lightning is brilliant, isn't it, Lofty? Um... But these autumn storms can be strong, wet and windy, Scoop. So it's probably best to stay inside where it's cosy. That's right. In you go, Scoop. Oh! Ah! That storm really made a mess. It's the Coast Guard. Hello? What would the Coast Guard want from Bob? The Fixum Lighthouse was struck by lightning during the storm. The lamp is broken and needs repairing. Oh, no! If the lighthouse can't shine its light, then it won't be able to warn ships away from the rocks. So the Coast Guard's asking, Can we fix it? Yes, we can! We're on our way. Hello, Curtis. Got a problem? The mooring ropes came loose in the storm. She's badly damaged, and the engine's ruined. Oh, sorry to hear that, Curtis. Ah, oh, she'll be fine once we've patched her up and got a brand new engine. Alfred, we need to go and get some spares. I'll see you later. house looks fine to me. It is fine, Scoop. On the outside... See that metal pole on top? That's a lightning conductor. It allows the lightning to pass through the lighthouse without causing too much damage to the building. But it didn't stop the lightning from breaking the electric lamp. There's another storm coming, so we have to get the light working again before dark. The lamp, lantern, casing and fuses need replacing. And the electrics have burnt out too. What does that mean? We'll also have to lay a new power cable all the way from Fixum, which means digging up the old one. That's a job for you, Scoop. Cool! I get to play in the sand! Um, I, I mean, I mean, dig up the sand. The power cable should be buried somewhere around here. Yes. There it is. Dig carefully along this line scoop and then follow the cable. OK, Wendy. Wait for my thumbs up before you start. This is the best job ever! Good job, Scoop. Now let's check the pipe to make sure it's not damaged. Thanks, Lofty. Now we just connect the old cable to the new cable. The 
The cables are connected, Wendy. So let's pull the old one out and the new one through. Thanks, Leo. You go with Scoop. OK. Off we go, Scoop. OK, that's the new cable connected to the lighthouse. Great. So now you can start filling in the trench, Scoop. Oh, yes! I'll go and connect the other end. Oh, thunder! That means I get to see more lightning! Fantastic! And the tide's starting to come in too. Oh, that's not so good. There, now the lighthouse has power again. I wish Two-Ton would hurry up with the new lamp, Wendy. The storm's coming. Oh, thank goodness. Sorry, Wendy. The storm blew a tree down right across the main road. I had to wait while they cleared it. Never mind, Two-Ton. At least you're here now. Leo says the tide's coming in really fast. OK, Lofty. Up. Up a bit more. Steady. Uh, oh, there's water around my wheels. Don't worry, Lofty. You and Leo get back to shore. But what about you and Wendy? We'll stay here overnight if we have to. Just so long as we get the lighthouse working again. OK, Bob. Let's go, Lofty. Hurry, Scoop, or you'll be cut off. I'm almost finished. All done. Yeah! Bob and Wendy fixed it. Oh, brilliant. If I finish this quickly, I can watch the lightning. Hey, careful, Scoop. Uh -oh. You frazzled the electrics. Oh, oh, no, that's a disaster. Why wasn't I more careful? Now, what do we do? Wendy's the only person that can fix this, and she's stuck in the lighthouse. Everything's fine here. There must be a problem on shore. The tide's in now. We're cut off. But I have to get back, Bob. It's the only way to get the lighthouse working before the storm arrives. I've got an idea. Leo. Bob? Uh, there's a tiny problem with the junction box at this end. We thought so. Wendy can fix it, but someone will have to fetch us by boat. But who's going to sail across in this weather? What about your dad? He's got a motorboat. Good thinking, Scoop. Dad! Dad! Leo? Can you rescue Bob and Wendy? They're stranded in the lighthouse. I haven't fixed the boat yet, Leo. We've only just got back. It took ages to find the right parts. And now the electricity's gone down, so I can't see properly. My lights are bright. And so are Lofties and Alfreds. We can shine them for you. That's brilliant! Let's do it, Dad. Can't see you yet. There they are. I can't get too close to the rocks. You'll have to jump aboard. Okay. okay. I 
thought changing a light bulb could be so dramatic. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Oh, it's too dark to see. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault, Wendy. But let me help. Thanks, Scoop. Let's get home. Oh, can't we stay and watch the lightning for a bit, Bob? Um, from inside my nice, safe, cosy garage. Yeah, to stay inside. That is brilliant, too. So, that's all the building done. Just the car park to lay and a few inside bits to finish off before the grand opening. Wow, look at that giant milkshake. It's spectacular. It'll be even more spectacular when it's spinning around. Spin it around, but that'll spill all the milkshake. It's not a real milkshake, Muck. It's a model. On you there. And I'm going to be putting in the motor and all the electrics to make it work. Oh, Shift at this milkshake bar will be such a fun place. Oh, you better will. Shift Teddy. Yay! Yay! Hola. Ni hao. Konnichiwa. Good day. What are you doing here, Chef? We're not quite finished. I know, but while you're creating my milkshake bar, I'll be creating the tatty-licious, chic-tastic surprise. The what-y-licious, what-tastic what-y? My milkshake bar special milkshake. Brilliant! What's in it? Oh, I've got no idea. I love experimenting with new ingredients. I just mix them all up and see what comes out. Wow! Right then, team, let's get started. Muck, you'll be laying the aggregate. Lofty, you'll be shifting materials. And Scoop, you'll be mixing the concrete for the car park with two tons. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. You know Chef Tatty's milkshake bar is going to be a really fun place? Well, I thought we could do something a bit more fun with the concrete. More... fun? You know, experiment with some new ingredients. Mix something up. See what comes out. Oh, no, no, no. You never mess with concrete, Scoop. We'll be making the usual concrete. The, uh, usual? Concrete? Oh, yes. Flat, smooth, and very, very grey. Oh. Now, I need someone to test out my milkshake creations and tell me which one is truly the most shake-tastic. I'm not sure I could really tell if something was shake-tastic. Oh, it's easy. All you have to do is just savour the frothy, creamy, sweet, Fruity, yummy scrumptiousness, and say what you think. I'll do it. Okay, I'll have a go. We've got ourselves a tea stop. Hey, Scoop. How's it going? Not great. I wanted to make fun concrete for Chef Tatty's milkshake bar, but Two Ton just wants to make the usual concrete. A handful of. And a big dollop of that. Let's try a bit of this. And one of those. A couple of these boys. Ah, yes. Mmm! Mmm! I love trying new mixtures and creating new colours. Now, let's mix it all up. Wow! There you go. The tatty licious shake tastic surprise at version one. Mm, that is truly shake tastic. Mmm. Um, it's okay, tastic. Ooh, only okay tastic, eh? 
Well, I need more than okay-tastic from Bob. Let's try and mix up something else. There's no way I am going to be making the usual concrete. Today, I will be mixing up the Scoopalicious Concrete-tastic surprise. Uh, are you sure Two-Ton will be okay with that? Two-Ton doesn't have to know. Uh... I'm back and ready to mix, Tutan! Now, remember, Scoop. Always measure the ingredients out correctly, or it just won't work. That's two parts cement, two parts aggregate, one part water, and one part sand. All right, Tutan, got that. Ah, there's nothing like the usual concrete. And this will be nothing like the usual concrete. Up and ready to go, Scoop? Oh, yes, two tons, so let's max it all up. So, Wendy, what do you think of version three? Have we found Shake Tastic yet? They were all great. That one was a delightful combination of sweet and savoury. That one was a party in your mouth, and that one was an explosion of foamy delight. Mm. Oh, not bad then. Bob? Mmm. Um, that one was, um, sort of pink. Pink? Hmm. We're off now, everyone. Let's finish everything in the morning. OK, Bob. We'll just finish laying the concrete and meet you back at the yard. Well, that's done. Let's get back. Whoa, whoa. Come on, Tutan. No, this way. What's the matter? I'm a bit worried about your scoopalicious concrete-tastic whatever you called it. No need to worry, Muck. I guarantee that by the end of the day, everyone will be talking about it. Wow, my concrete looks amazing! It's so colourful and fun and... and squelchy and sticky. Uh-oh! Scoop, this concrete's not dry. Oh, this concrete isn't dry. I know, Lofty. Ew. Oh, no! Why isn't my concrete dry? I, I don't understand it. Come on, Scoop. Back up. Back up. This is the strangest concrete I've ever seen. I can't believe we left it all night. And it's still not dry. Well, you were right about one thing, Scoop. Everyone's talking about your concrete. Oh, Bob. This is all my fault. Anyone can make a mistake, Scoop. It wasn't a mistake, Bob. I did it on purpose. On purpose? When I saw Chef Tati experimenting with different colours and ingredients, it looked so much fun. I wanted to try something fun too. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Bob. I'll go and clear it all off. You know, I'd never have created my legendary purple fizzle crush chunky delight if I hadn't tried mixing red currants, rhubarb, and cheesy biscuits. That sounds, um, interesting. But it has given me an idea. Muck, take me back to the yard. Right, Scoop. I want you to try again using some fun ingredients that don't come out of the dustbin. Wow! Yellow, red and blue cement! 
And crunchy gravel jumps too! And it's quick drying. And I'll mix it all up for you! Looks way better than that other mess you made, Scoop. Thanks, Muck. OK, this is my last try at creating the Tatalicious Shake-tastic Surprise. That's it. That is truly Shake-tastic. What did you put in it, Chef? Strawberry. Just plain strawberry. Cos sometimes the usual is the best. Mm. Maybe it needs a touch more vanilla. OK, Leo. Oh, Bob, it looks fantastic. Glad you're happy, Jenny. My Komodos will love their new island. We've finished the entrance that slopes up, so now we have to complete the slope down to the exit. Once that's finished, we just need to get the bridge over the island in place. Then you can open it to the public. So there's no reason why we can't release the Komodos now. Before the walkway's finished? Yes. They need some time to get used to their new home. I suppose not, then. Brilliant. I'll get the cages moved onto the island straight away. Thanks, Leo. You can switch the water off now. OK. Come on out, my lovely Komodo dragons, and see your new home. Dragons? Won't they be able to fly off the island, Bob? <laughs> They're not the fire-breathing kind you read about in stories, Mug. And they don't have wings. Phew! Why are they called dragons, then? The people who discovered them over a hundred years ago thought they looked like dragons. But if they're not real dragons, what are they? Just big lizards, really. But they can give you a nasty bite if you're not careful. Look, there's one. It's come to say hello. What's the matter, Mark? I feel all shivery and strange. How long have you been feeling like that? Just since I saw the d d dragon. Oh, Muck, you're just scared. You're completely safe, Muck. The safety glass stops it getting off the island. I don't even want to look at it, Wendy. It's so slimy and hissy. Actually, Komodo dragons aren't slimy at all. Their skins are quite dry. I don't think this is the time, Bob. Muck, will you be able to help finish off the walkway now the Komodos are on the island? I'm sorry. I don't think I will. Don't worry, Muck. We can do that, and I'll find you something else. Right, that's all the Komodo settling in. Is Muck asleep? We've just discovered he's really scared of the Komodos. Is there anywhere else in the zoo that he could help out today? Well, the enclosure over there needs clearing out. I could do that! Great idea. Muck, come on, let's get you away from the island. Should I tell Muck it's the old Komodo enclosure he'll be clearing? Is it completely empty? Oh, yes. Then I'm sure he'll be fine with that. Leo, Lofty, Scoop, let's get this walkway finished. Sure thing. Yes, Bob. right -o. Huh? Eggs? What are they doing here? There's at least three. And another three. And another. So that's some... loads. I wonder where the mummy bird is. I 
can't see her anywhere. I have to find her so she can look after her eggs. They might be ready to hatch and the baby chicks would have no one to look after them. Oh, I really need to ask Jenny what to do. <gasps> but I bet she's over by the Komodo Island. <laughs> it's no good. I'll just have to go to the island. I need to make sure these eggs are safe. Don't worry, little chickies. Uncle Muck will look after you. to help him. What's going on? Well, there's a dragon climbing that tree. It's gonna bite Leo! <gasps> Leo, don't worry. We're going to get you down. Just stay really still. Oh, oh, okay, I'll try. Bob, I think I can reach Leo. You can step into Muck's bucket, Leo. I can do it. Don't worry, Leo. I've got you. Well done. That's brilliant. Now Muck will bring you down as gently as he can, Leo. Brilliant, Good job, Muck. What happened? Just a little accident, Scoop. Thank you, Muck. You're my hero. I'm not a hero, Leo. It's all my fault you got stuck up there in the first place. Why? What happened? Well, first I came over to find Jenny and then that dragon hissed at me and then I got scared and then I backed into the walkway and now it's all ruined. We can fix it, Muck. The important thing is that you saved Leo. You are more worried about me than yourself, Muck. That really is brave. What did Muck save Leo from? Him. Him is a her, actually. Oh, she's just having a little sunbathe after her lunch. You mean she wasn't going to climb that tree and bite me? No. <laughs> Young Komodos can climb all the way up trees, but the adults grow too big. Oh. <laughs> I saved Leo. He didn't even need saving. <laughs> You've made me think, though, Muck. I don't want anyone visiting the zoo to be worried like you and Leo were. Maybe I need to redesign the walkway. There's plenty of safety glass left over. We could cover the sides of the walkway and bridge. You're a genius, Bob. I'll leave you to it. Oh, Jenny, I nearly forgot. I found some eggs in that other enclosure, but I couldn't see the mummy bird, so you need to look after them. What eggs? They don't look like any eggs I've ever seen before. What kind of birds bury their eggs in soil, Jenny? These are Komodo dragon eggs, Muck. They must have been laid several months ago without me knowing. <gasps> Hang on a minute. You may not... I, I mean... Then they're not... Komodo dragons are reptiles, Muck. And reptiles lay eggs, just like birds. Oh. I need to transfer them to a nesting site straight away. They look like they're ready to hatch. So I was carrying Komodo eggs around all that time. Looks like it, Muck. Well, if I can do that, I reckon I can go back to work at Komodo Island. Can I fix it, Bob? <laughs> yes, you can. Friend Leo. 
She looks a lot friendlier from up here. It's wonderful, Bob. Thank you all so much. Especially you, Muck. I can't believe how brave you've been saving Leo and helping to get everything finished on time, despite being so scared of the Komodos. Oh, it was nothing. And now I've got something very special to show you. Come on. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I thought you didn't like Komodos, Muck. I think they're OK now I've got over being scared. Good for you, Muck. And as you're the one who found and saved the eggs, I've decided to name him after you, Muck. After me? Thank you. It's an honour to have a Komodo named after me. Yes, Muck, it really is. And I'll call the next baby boy Bob. Bob the Komodo Dragon. I think that's got quite a ring to it. Scoop's a nice name too, you know. Quick, space robot Muck, get ready for hyperspace. Right behind you, Space Captain Leo. Three, Three two, two, one, blast off! You two look like you're having fun. We're playing space robots in hyperspace, Bob. It's a new computer game. Everyone's playing it. <laughs> Brilliant. But we've got a big day tomorrow. Maybe you should think about getting some sleep. Oh, can we stay up a bit longer, Bob? Please? We're nearly at the top level. <laughs> OK. But remember, you're having a sleepover because we've got a very early start. Thanks, Thanks Bob. Bob. I've made up the sofa bed for you, Leo, so don't be too late. OK. Ugh, I'm so sleepy. Attention, space robot muck. The galaxy needs you. Wake up. <laughs> I'm awake, space captain Leo. Just one more level to go. <sighs> what? <sighs> what? It can't be morning already. Good morning, Leo. All ready for the big day? I guess. <sighs> morning, all. Nice to see you up bright and breezy. Leo, I need you to load those hooks and plates onto Muck, please. <sighs> yes, sir. Hi, everyone. Morning, morning Wendy. Wendy. Right. Today, we're finishing off the Spring City wheel. Yesterday, we built the A-frame and Dizzy cemented it in. So today, we have to build the wheel itself and raise it up so it can spin around. Then we have to fit the observation pods for people to sit in. Leo, Muck, this is where you come in. The pods are fitted with hooks and metal plates, so we need you to bring them to the site. You can count on us, Bob. And we've promised the Spring City Rockets that they can have first go on the wheel. So let's get going. Last one there is a wheelbarrow. I really feel like a wheelbarrow. What's the matter, Muck? I'm just so tired. Permission to rest up for a bit, Space Captain Leo? Ah, oh, good idea. If we have a quick nap now, mm. we'll be full of energy later. Yeah. Mm. Ah. So, these are the observation pods. And the curved steel tubes for the outside of the wheel are over there. But where's Tutan with the spokes? We need them to hold the wheel together, like the spokes on a bicycle wheel. Good morning, Bob. Your wish is my command. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks, Tutan. So now all we're missing is Leo and Muck with the hooks and plates. They should be here by now. I'll give Leo a call. No answer. They must be held up somewhere. But do we need Leo and Muck if we're going to get the job done before the Spring City rockets get here? We certainly do. I'm sure they'll be here soon. Yes. Let's press on anyway. Lofty, you've got lots of lifting to do. Yes, Bob. Wendy, you'll have to help me bolt the frame together. And Tutan, 
We'll need those spokes when we've made the frame. You can depend on me, Bob. One Spring City Wheel coming up. Spring City Wheel. On your best behaviour now. Oh, goodness. They're here already. I want to go really high. Oh, isn't it ready yet? Um, not quite. We're just waiting for some parts. Aww. But that means you get to watch Lofty lift the wheel into position. Hooray! Yay! Yay! Over here, please, everyone. <laughs> OK, Lofty, all ready. Righto. Hey! Go on, Lofty, you can do it! Whoa! Steady as she goes. Well done, Lofty! Yeah! go on it. Bob promised. And Bob always keeps his promises. Still no sign of Leo and Muck. No. And I'm getting a bit worried about them now. I'll try calling them again. Will we really get to ride it today, Wendy? Of course you will, JJ. I know. While we wait, shall we play a game? Yes! Let's play hide and seek. I'll count to ten and everyone hide. <laughs> One, two... Three, four, five... Come on, Leo, answer. Six, <laughs> seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten! Coming! Oh? Where's everyone gone? Hello? Leo, where are you? We need those hooks and metal plates right now. Sorry, Bob. We stopped for a bit and, um, drifted off to sleep. What? But don't worry. We'll be back with you just as soon as I wake Muck up. Well, you'd better hurry because... Found you! Oh, I found Bob! Um, <laughs> I wasn't actually hiding, Lofty. Ew, that's right. Muck, wake up! Muck! <laughs> Muck! <laughs> what? Oh, that's ten safety hats all together! Ta -da! Yay! Yay! Leo and Muck are on their way. <laughs> and that's why we always wear a safety hat on a building site. <laughs> I knew. Shall I sing Lofty's lifting song next? Well, I lift in the morning and I lift in the evening and I lift in the afternoon, which connects the morning with the evening, which is how time works. Everybody, I... I'll never wake him up. We shouldn't have stayed up all night playing sp... That's it! Space Robot! Attention, Space Robot Muck! Bob the Builder needs you! What? I'm awake, Space Captain Leo! Come on, Space Robot! We've got a build to rescue! Hyperdrive to maximum! I lift things up, then I lower them down. I lift things up, and then I lower them down. Seventh verse! Everybody! Stop! Why? Because, um... Because here comes <gasps> Muck! Yes! Bob, everyone, I'm so sorry for being late. Well, you're here now. So, Lofty, let's get these pods fitted. What happened? We stopped for a quick rest and we fell asleep. 
We were tired because I kept us up all night playing space robots in hyperspace. Space robots in hyperspace? Yeah. It took ages to reach the top level. We love space robots. But we've never reached the top level. Can you show us, Leo? <laughs> yes, go on then, Leo. Thanks, Bob. Right. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. Space Captain Leo, are you going to have a go on the wheel? Oh. Well, I suppose even space robots need to sleep sometimes. Right, everyone. Today, we are building Curtis a new car wash. Excuse me, Roller coming through. <gasps> Sorry, Roly. As I was saying, the car drives in here, the mainframe moves over the car, the brushes spin around to give it a clean and... Beep, beep. <gasps> Sorry, I've missed a bit. Then, the clean car will exit the car wash here and drive off. Ooh, it sounds like great fun. Can I have a go in the car wash? I don't think so, Mac. You're much too big for it. That's right, Lofty. The car wash is just the cars and vans. Sorry. I've got to roll behind you. Ready for more time, Mac Rowley? Yes, please, Mac. OK. Roly really likes to do his jobs perfectly, doesn't he? Sometimes he likes to do them a bit too perfectly. Bob, I thought my car wash would be up and running by now. Sorry, Curtis. Roll is still rolling. It's just that my electric power and water supply are both off. I can't even surf petrol. OK, everyone. It's done. The tarmac is flat. Hooray! Hooray! OK. Right. We're behind schedule, so we'll need to make up time. Wendy, Leo and Lofty, our first job is to assemble the mainframe and lower it onto these runners. Yes, OK. Bob. Leo, you're in charge of connecting the car wash to the water supply. You got it, Bob. Wendy, we'll need the control console fitted here. I'm on it. Bob, shall I roll the tarmac one more time? Uh, thank you, Roly, but no. We've got to get going. So, can we... Oh, now what? Hi, Philip. Good morning, Curtis. Curtis, aren't you open yet? I'm afraid we're a bit behind, Mia Madison. Uh, but Philip is scheduled to be the first car to drive through the car wash. Isn't that right, Philip? I do believe that I have that privilege. See, it's in the diary. We won't be too long. Can you come back later? Come back later? But that would make us late for the beekeepers' conference. And if we're late for the beekeepers' conference, we'll be late for the lorry driver's lunch. And if we're late for the lorry driver's lunch, we'll be late for the... Oh! We'll come back shortly. Drive on, Philip. Yes, Mum. And last, one automatic car wash coming up. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can.
Now that's what I call a proper car wash. Can I open my garage now? We just have to test it, Curtis. The green triangle is for go, the red square is for stop, and the blue circle is for set. That so you can reset the car wash back to the beginning, isn't it, Wendy? You're right, Lofty. It is. You can also set it to do a test run, which is what I'm doing now. Curtis, will you start it for us? I'd be honoured to, Bob. <laughs> How exciting. Here's the first rinse. Oh, that's brilliant. All working well. The brushes are turning nicely on their axles. Mainframe running smoothly. What's that? Cleaning foam. It's like shampoo for cars. Here's the final rinse. Yahoo! Fantastic! Thanks, everyone. Now I just need to switch my petrol pumps on and I can open for business. Everybody, wait! I think I should roll the tarmac out some more. <laughs> Why, Roly? I might have missed a bit. And there might be bits of tarmac swishing around the car wash. Oh, dear. We wouldn't want that. They might get up inside the mainframe, and that would break it. Break the car wash? All right, all right. Tell you what, Roly. Why doesn't Leo do another test run just for you? Then you can watch everything closely, and if there's any loose tarmac, you can roll it out later. Thanks, Bob. Leo, you got it, Bob. Not too close, Mark. OK. Green is for go. Uh-oh! I can see some loose tarmac. Where? There. Little bits of tarmac next to the drain. I'll just roll them flat. No, Roly. Not while it's running. I won't be a moment. Roly, come back! <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Roly, watch out! Stop! Oh no! Go forward, Roly! Forward! Whoa! Back, Roly! Back! Oh, 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 ow! Oh, oh, ow! Oh. Help! Somebody do something! Oh no! Don't worry, Roly. We'll soon have you out of there. Oh, no. How did this happen? It's... it's my fault. I didn't listen. Leo said not to go in when it was running, but I was too busy rolling and I didn't think. Now I've ruined everything. I'm so sorry. Is there anything we can do, Bob? <laughs> of course there is. Let's get Roly out of that mainframe first. I can back out, Bob. Slowly, Roly, slowly. Let's have a look. The brushes have popped out, but that's what they're designed to do. No real damage to the mainframe, but we're going to need another console. I think Two Ton left us some spares. I'll take a look. Good. And we've got to do something about that water. I'll stop it. <laughs> well, that's one way of doing it. Thank you, Roly. OK, everyone. Can <laughs> we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Looks a lot better, but will it work? As long as the mainframe resets itself, we're back in business. 
Hooray! As good as new. Now, let's get your petrol pumps working, Curtis. How exciting! We're your very first customers! <gasps> but they haven't closed their windows! Mayor Madison, your windows! Yes, they're electric! Oh, oh. Ow. 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 Mr. Bentley, close the window! Hurry! <laughs> 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 Not supposed to happen. Uh oh! Press the blue button. That'll reset it, Wendy. Oh. 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 <laughs> well, looking on the bright side, at least Philip is clean. Sparkling. Thank you, sir. Oh, do something, Mr. Bentley. Oh. <laughs> Shall I roll the tarmac one more time? No! Should be a simple enough job, Wendy. New barriers at the entrance to the town hall and paving for the driveway. Well, if we're digging all this old stuff up, we'll need to attach Scoop's high-powered breaker. Yes! I love having a go on the da-da-da-da. It's a breaker, Scoop. A breaker. You really should learn the word. Bob! Mayor Madison. I want everything looking perfect for the grand unveiling of the statue. Grand, grand unveiling? unveiling? A statue of what, Mayor Madison? <coughs> A statue of the most inventive, energetic and forward-thinking person in Spring City history. Are we talking about a statue of you, Mayor Madison? Yes, we are, Wendy. How did you guess? And when it arrives, Bob, I want you to put it right no problem. Oh, actually, I'd better take a photo of you, Mayor, and send it off to the sculptor, or it won't be done in time. Oh, dear, this thing is so fiddly. Come on, Mr Bentley. I can only hold this smile for so long. Ah, there! All done, I think. There. How does that feel, Scoop? Brilliant. You know I love having a go on the da-da-da-da. Scoop, it's called a breaker. It's easy to remember because it's good at breaking stuff up. Oh, I get it now. Can I start it yet, Bob? Can I start it? I'm so excited! Ooh, I get nervous when Scoop gets overexcited. And he always gets overexcited when he uses the breaker. What's the breaker? The da 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 Nah, the da 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 is the da 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 Ooh, that's just the noise it makes. The noise what, mate? The da 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 I mean the breaker. Look, just try not to get overexcited, please. Now, Scoop, you need to dig down to the level of the string or the rainwater won't drain away properly. Got it? Yep, yeah, got it, Bob. Can I start it up now? I want to get breaking! I mean, careful breaking, of course. Can I? Please, 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 please! OK, Scoop, but only if you help answer one question. What's that, Bob? Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Go easy, Scoop. We don't need to dig down to the Earth's core. Is that far? Whoa! Look out, Scoop. I just mean be careful with the da 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 da. Okay, no need to shout. This is so much fun! Well, it works.
looks Bob. It's just not working properly. I'll take a look. No, no. I think I know what the problem is. Is this knob? Switch the voltage. Now, Wendy, try it again. Looking good. Just needed some Bob magic. Uh, that might be a little fast. Actually, maybe some Wendy magic might be better. Woohoo! This is a life! I love my job! Don't you think you should slow down a bit, Scoo? I can't hear you, Muck! I've got the da 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 on! Shouldn't you be taking that rubble away? I can get some real work done without interruptions. Uh-oh. I've sprung a leak. How are you getting on, Scoop? Uh, yeah, everything's going fine, Bob. Just having a breather. <laughs> Phew! This digging is hard work, eh? Well, you're doing a great job. Hey, did you hear that? Don't worry, Bob. It's probably just my hydraulics. Oh, yeah, nothing to see here. Well, listen, as a reward for working so hard, you could be the first to test out the new barrier. Really, Bob? That would be brilliant. No, Bob, uh, I'd better not. Uh, th there's still a lot to do. Actually, we're in pretty good shape. Come on, Scoop. Everyone deserves a breather now and again. Uh, I've just got something I need to sort out. It's, uh... uh you go ahead. I'll see you there. Oh, there go my hydraulics again. Uh, was that Wendy just calling for you? I didn't hear anything. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, gull. I didn't listen to anyone and now I've sprung a leak and got to keep it covered up. Oh, no. Muck's coming. Actually, maybe Muck can help me. Anything else for me to get rid of? Uh, no, not at the moment, Muck. In fact... You could have a little rest if you wanted. I'm fine. No, you look tired. Everyone deserves a breather now and again. You know where a grey spot to take five is? Right here. <sighs> well, it has been quite a hard morning. Yeah, and we're in pretty good shape. Okay, Scoop. Try it now. Okay, Wendy. Lord Mayor Scoop coming through. That was so cool. Can I have another go? Of course you can. But we should let one of the others have a turn first. Hey, Muck! Do you want to have a zoom through the new automatic barrier? Oh, yes, please, Bob. Hang on, Muck. If you're here, then who's... Who's what, Scoop? Uh, uh... Nothing. Doesn't matter. See you in a minute. Oh! Scoop coming through! Emergency! What's happened? Ooh, Scoop, what have you done? Oh, dear, what have I done? What a mess! What are we going to do now, Bob? About the leak or the paving slabs? Well, one thing's for sure, we're never going to finish the driving time for the grand opening. I'm so sorry, Bob. It's all my fault. I, I should have told you about the leak. Yes, you should have. But don't worry, Scoop. We'll think of something. But the paving slabs are all broken. They're like jigsaw pieces. Jigsaw pieces? Scoop, 
You've given me an idea. Are we going to go home and make a jigsaw, Bob? No, Mark. We are going to lay down some seriously crazy paving. Ready, team? Let's go! everyone, as we unveil this statue to, uh, to one of our town's greatest heroes. Ready, Bob? Ready! Go for it, Lofty. What is that? Oh, uh... Dear me, I must have sent the wrong picture. That appears to be a, a me on my last holiday. Uh-oh. Well, at least someone likes the statue. Well, that's the last holiday you'll be having for some time, Mr. Bentley. This isn't the way to the Sea Life Centre. No, Lofty, but I just need to check something at the zoo first. Oh, I love the zoo! What's that on the roof, Bob? It's called a solar panel, Lofty. It turns sunlight into electricity. Oh. Is everything OK, Mayor Madison? Pa Perfect, Bob. Thank you so much for installing this solar panel. It's powering my office computer. And on a really sunny day, it boils the kettle for my tea. Thank you, Jenny. We must think ahead and build more renewable energy for all of Spring City. Oh, yes. For the future. Renewable bubble engine, eh? What's that? Renewable energy, Muck. It's electricity made from things that won't run out, like sunlight. Oh. And our job at the Sea Life Centre is to install another type of renewable energy, a wind farm. Uh, how do you grow wind on a farm? It's not that sort of farm, Muck. Look. They're wind turbines, just like windmills. They make electricity from the power of the wind. That is amazing. Mm, I'm looking forward to turning them on, Bob. Then we'd better get going. The wind farm won't build itself. Oh, but Bob, I've got lots more plans for renewable energy to run past you. Excellent, Mr Bentley. Let's talk about them as soon as we've finished at the Sea Life Centre. How's it going, Wendy? So far, so good, Bob. Everything's on schedule for the mayor to make the big switch over this evening. Great! Hi, Muck. Look at all the digging I've done. Ooh, what's going in there? These. They're the foundations for the turbines, so they have to be really strong. There will be six altogether in two rows of three. I can't wait to see the big spinny things go spinning round and round and round and... Oh, oh. OK, team. We need to get the turbines working by the end of the day. Can we build them? Yes, we can! Thanks, Lofty. Right, Leo. Come and help me sort out the cable connections inside the Sea Life Centre. Sure, Wendy. 
Bob! Bob, we must talk about the Mayor's other renewable energy plan soon. Oh, um... I know these plans are for the future, but as Spring City gets bigger and bigger, it's going to need a lot more power to light homes, run washing machines, make toast. Maybe today we should... You're right! Why do tomorrow what we can do today? Thinking ahead, that's the motto. It's just... The... Yes, I don't just want to tell you the Mayor's plans, Bob. I want to show you. OK. But I mustn't leave the site for long. Let's be quick. You're in charge, Scoop. No problem, Bob. Wonder. What is it, Scoop? What if we move the foundations closer together? That way, we could add more spinny turbines into the same space in the future. Wouldn't that be helpful? Ew, I'm not sure you want to do that. That's not what Bob said. But what if the Sea Life Centre needs to build a blue whale tank or a giant squid pool? They'd need lots more power for light and clean water and... I don't know. Toast? Toast? Maybe not toast, but look! We could get ten spinny turbines into the same space. <laughs> and remember, Mr Bentley said we should think ahead. Are you really, really sure about this, Scoop? It's not in the plans. Of course! Bob is going to be so pleased with us. Wendy's nearly finished connecting the cables and... Are those foundations closer together? Yes! It's like Mr Bentley said. We're thinking ahead. Oh, Mr Bentley said so. Yes, that's right. He did. He's with Bob right now. But we need some help lifting the turbines, Leo. Uh, OK. OK, Lofty. Steady. Now you need to put the spinny blades on top. OK, Lofty. Gently does it. Brilliant! Next one! And here in the harbour, we can use wave power to light the lighthouse. Amazing! Yes, Mr Bentley, but... And on the end of the pier, more wind power to run the amusement arcade. That's interesting, but... And, of course, we have bigger plans for Spring City itself. It's just that... Onwards, Philip, as you wish, sir. Mr Bentley, Bob, these plans are great, but... 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 Perhaps we should make sure the wind farm at the Sea Life Centre works first. Oh, yes, I suppose you're right. Uh, better stick to the plan. Uh, Philip, back to the Sea Life Centre, please. Certainly, sir. Easy does it, Lofty. So that's the first row finished. Should we do the next row now? No, no. Let's get these spinning around first. I want a surprise, Bob. Can you take the brakes off, Leo? OK. Let's see how it goes. That doesn't look right. <gasps> oh, no! Bob, look! We've been thinking ahead! Hang on a moment. They're too close together! <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, dear! My lovely new turbines! I suppose I'd better inform the mayor of this little mishap. Oh, no! I broke the spinny things! Scoop! Oh, Bob! I wanted to make room for more spinny turbines in the future, so I got Lofty to move the foundations closer together. I said it was a bad idea. You should have stuck to the plan, Scoop. But I thought I was, you know, thinking ahead, like Mr Bentley said we should. I'm so, so sorry, Bob. All right. The problem now is we only have three working turbines. They won't generate enough power for the Sea Life Centre. And the Mayor expects to switch over the wind power tonight. We need a new plan, Bob. If only we could use sun power instead of just spinny wind power. Ah, uh, you mean solar power, Scoop? Oh, yes. Just like at the zoo. Brilliant. That gives me an idea. But we'll have to hurry. Come on, team!
I guess we'll need about a quarter of that to fill the gaps in each trench. Have you checked the plan to make sure, Bob? Good idea, Scoop. Ah, maybe we'll need a bit more than a quarter. Thanks, Scoop. Good job we checked. Well, well, well. I was told there was a problem, but it all seems fine. Mr Bentley, you worry too much. Bob always does a brilliant job. Uh, yeah, I never really doubted him. You're just in time for the big switchover, Mayor Madison. Thank you, Bob. Ahem. Powering up! Yay, the spinny things are spinning! Faster, faster! And look at the shiny solar panels. Wonderful! Oh, and you've saved space for future expansion. Well, that was actually Scoop's idea. That's perfect. If we ever need to build, say, a giant squid pool. Ooh! But, best of all, I love how you've mixed and matched wind power and solar power. Y you've created a wind solar farm! Oh, oh, now I've got an idea. Let's use cow power! <laughs> That's the wrong sort of farm, Muck. Remember? Well, then what about sheep power? Or chickens? Let's use chicken power. Right, team. Today, Fixum Zoo is getting its first ever giraffe. So we're going to be finishing off the new giraffe enclosure. Yay! Yay! Um, what's an enclosure, Wendy? Well, Scoop, it's an area in the zoo where an animal lives. It will be the giraffe's own special home. Oh, a real giraffe! I love giraffes. They're my favourite animal because their necks are really, really long. Just like my Jeb. They are. That's great, Lofty. Now, we'll need you outside. Yes, Bob. You have to lift all our building supplies over the zoo fence. Right, Bob. And the rest of us will be inside finishing the giraffe enclosure. OK, everyone. Let's go! Oh, I can't wait to see the giraffe! Who oh, no. knew? This fence is really high. I'll never be able to see the giraffe over that! So, we've got the basics done. We just need those materials from Lofty. OK, everyone. Let's go. Bob? Bob? What's the matter, Jenny? I've lost Gertie. Um... My long-haired Peruvian guinea pig. One minute I was feeding her, and the next minute she completely disappeared. <laughs> I really don't know what to do. I've looked everywhere. Is it my imagination or is Jenny's hair moving? Uh, Jenny, I think there might be one place you haven't looked. Oh, no. Don't make me go back in the monkey house. <laughs> Don't worry. Here she is. Oh, <laughs> who's a naughty girl? <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. Wow, this is all looking marvellous. I'm sure the giraffe will love it. Doesn't the giraffe have a name, Jenny? Like Bertie does. Not yet, Dizzy. Maybe we can give him a name when he gets here. Right, we need to get you back to your enclosure, Gertie. Gertie? Gertie? Oh. Gertie? Gertie, Gertie, Gertie! Gertie! Right. We'd best get moving, then. Can we build it? Yes, we can!
Thanks, Leo. Is the giraffe there yet? Is it? Is it? Is it? Not yet, Lofty. We've got a lot more building to do before then. Oh. I know everything there is to know about giraffes. I even know what they have for lunch. What's that, Lofty? Leaves and flowers and fruit and seeds and herbs and vines. <laughs> This should keep the giraffe safely in his home. Just the last few rocks to come over, Leo. Where do you want these leaves, Bob? That's the giraffe's food. Just put it over by the viewing platform. Can you lift over the last few rocks, Lofty? OK, Leo. Here they come. The giraffe! He's here. Welcome to Fixum Zoo, Mr. Giraffe. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, and I can't move because I've got this load. Wait there, Lofty. I better see if Bob needs my help to get him in. Leo! He's so tall! Oh, no. I want to see him. Wow! He's amazing. <laughs> there must be a gap. Maybe if I get close enough, if I can just be through... Lofty! I'm really sorry, Bob. I just wanted to see the giraffe. <laughs> oh, that crashing scared the giraffe. He's run off into the zoo. Oh, dear. I've broken everything and made the giraffe run away. Don't worry, Lofty. I'm sure we can sort it all out. Wendy and Leo, can you repair the fences and the viewing platform and scoop? Can you help them? OK, okay Bob. Bob. And the rest of us will split up and find the giraffe. Of him anywhere. He's probably lost forever. Oh no. Don't worry, Lofty. There must be a way to find him. The poor thing. He hasn't even had his lunch yet. <gasps> That's it. What's it? If it's the giraffe's lunch time, he might come out if he sees some food. Good idea, Lofty. If you drive slowly around the zoo, he's bound to smell the food and come out to get some. Let's go. But go really slowly. I will, Bob. And quiet. some lunch. I've got some lovely tasty leaves for you. It's working, Lofty. Oh, wow. Look at him. Isn't he great? Now we just need to lead him back to the enclosure. OK, Bob. Quick, 
Let's open the gate. Okay, Lofty. Now just put the giraffe's food next to the viewing platform. You're welcome. Jenny, what are you going to call the giraffe? Hmm, I don't know. Hmm. <gasps> what about Lofty the giraffe after Lofty the crane who helped find him? I think that's a marvellous idea. <gasps> really? After me? Fantastic! <laughs> Hello, Lofty! The giraffe! <laughs> Scoop's a nice name too, you know. Oh, gather all ye gentle folk of yo ye fixum town! Don't I sound dashingly regal, Mayor Madison? Can't talk, Mr Bentley. Busy with my checklist. We can't have a medieval festival without a castle, can we? Castle? Check? I'm very excited about my starring role in the festival tonight. I wonder what my costume will be like. Moat? Check? It'll be my first major part since playing tap dancing pineapple number five in my school play. <laughs> Portcullis? Oh. The castle doesn't have a portcullis. We'll need one of those. Best get Bob onto this straight away. Oh, hello, Mayor Madison. A new portcullis for the castle? Of course we can do that. We'll be there right away. Excellent news, Bob. See you shortly. <laughs> portcullis. Bob to do. <laughs> right, I'm off to ye oldie hat shop to get something special for the festival. <laughs> OK, team, we need to build a portcullis for the castle. Now, does anyone know what a portcullis is? Uh, is it a fish? Oh, it's a... Uh, uh... It's like a big gate that can be lifted up and down. It was used in olden times to keep people out. That's exactly right, Leo. No castle is complete without a portcullis guarding the way in. And it looks as if we've got some repair work to do on the drawbridge, too. You're right, Wendy. It is a bit rotten just here. But it'll be fine as long as none of the heavy machines go across it. So, you three, be careful not to come onto the drawbridge. Oh, OK, okay Bob. Bob. We'll fix it before tonight's festival. But first, we've got a portcullis to make. That's right. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Tell us more about castles, Bob. Yeah, who lived in them? Kings and queens and their children, princes and princesses, who are like young royal apprentices. Kind of like you, Leo. Yeah, exactly. Just like me. Brave Prince Fix-a-Lot and his three knights in shining metal. Sir Scoop, Sir Muck, and Sir Lofty! Hurrah! In the fight for peace and justice, nothing will stand in our way! Oops! <laughs> oh, you get, Your Majesty. Now, it's time to try raising the portcullis. Now, 
It's very heavy, so you both need to crank your winches at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. <sighs> Make sure you secure your winch, Leo. We don't want the port collars to fall. OK, Wendy. <sighs> Oi, how dare thee trespass. I command thee to retreat, foul feet. <laughs> and don't come back. Leo, is everything secure? It is now, Bob. <laughs> that feathery foe was no match for the brave and cunning Prince fix a -Lot. Thunder, take this and that. <laughs> Leo! 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 What? Look oh. out! That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? No, it wasn't. And now Leo is trapped. Uh, ah, fear not, everyone. Nothing Prince fix -a -Lot can't fix. I'll simply raise the portcullis like this. The portcullis is too heavy, Leo. It needs two people to crank the winches. <sighs> Guess I'll just have to find a different way out. Another adventure for fearless Prince fix -a -Lot. <laughs> What was that? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, Leo? D -d There's someone else in here. Oh, oh. I think it's a ghost. A ghost? A ghost? Do be silly. There are no such things as ghosts. Are there, Bob? Of course not. <laughs> you don't scare me, ghosty. You're no match for the gallant Prince fix a -Lot. <sighs> There's nothing to worry about, Leo. The important thing is to stay calm and try not to... Help! Panic. Just sit tight. I've got a brilliant plan to get you out. That's great, Bob. What is it? Uh, I haven't thought of that bit yet. Bob, if we don't think of something soon, we won't be able to get the castle open for the festival. If only I could get inside the castle myself, and then Leo and I could open the portcullis together. Oh, I know, Bob. Climb into my bucket and I'll throw you over the wall, just like a bag of cement. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Scoop. But let's try plan B. I've just had an idea. And if it succeeds, we'll rescue Leo and get the Fort Collis open in time for the festival. But we're going to have to work together as a team. It will take courage, determination, and a healthy dose of axle grease. Can we save Leo? Yes! yes. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! First, we're going to need to fix the drawbridge so it's strong enough for Muck to cross. OK, Muck, lift the portcullis as high as you can. Ooh, ooh, it's heavy. Don't drop it until I say now. Now? Sorry, Bob. Good luck, Phew. Bob. Watch out for that ghost. Oh, who's there? Skull, is that you? Hello. Your Majesty. Bob? My, my, you look like you've seen a ghost. I didn't startle you with my fabulous vocal warm-ups, did I? Of uh, course not. <laughs> my foot's stuck. Right. There. 
There you go, Prince Fix-a-Lot. Um, thanks a lot. Done, team! Bye, Bye, Bob. Bob. The castle is ready for the festival. Oh, that reminds me. I'd better go and pick up the special costume Mayor Madison ordered for me. I wonder what I'll be dressed as. A noble king? A knight in shining armour, perhaps? Oh, gather all ye gentle folk of Yodi Fixum Town. Come hither through these castle gates and bow down to your crown. All hail Queen Madison. For your courageous rescue efforts and restoring my castle to its grandeur, I hereby knight you, Bob the Brave. And commend your tremendous team and valiant vehicles. Uh, hello. Uh, someone help me with my hat. of it. Are we here to watch telly? Oh, no, Muck. May Moon has a very special task for us today. That's right, Bob. I need my launch pad finished. <gasps> what are you launching? Here's a clue. A rocket! A real one! It's gonna go soon! Spring City is entering the space age! That's right. May here is going to attempt to break the record for launching the smallest rocket into space. A proper space rocket. Can we see? Can we see? It's very impressive, May. She's called Stella, and she's only ten feet tall. Hello, Stella. She can't speak, Muck. I can still say hello. Wow. A real space rocket. I've wanted to launch my own rocket ever since I was a little girl. Tonight, my dream will come true. Uh, I never thought I'd get to see a real rocket launch. Oh, I can't wait. Be careful. Oops. Don't get too close, Lofty. Stella is a very sensitive piece of hardware. Sorry. So, May, once Stella blasts off, how will you know if she reaches space? I'll track her with this app that I designed. If Stella flies up 100 kilometers, then she'll reach the edge of outer space. But how will Stella come back down? She'll fall back to Earth, Muck, and probably use a parachute to land gently. That's exactly right, Wendy. Look. But I must have a clear sky for the launch. Well, it's clear now, but the forecast is for thick cloud by the morning. That's why I need to launch Stella by tonight. No problem, May. We'll get it done. OK, guys. First, we need to dig a big pit just here for Stella's exhaust to blast into. Then the launch pad will go on top with a gantry tower to keep Stella upright and steady. The whole area will be covered in concrete. And there'll be water jets to cool the metal launch pad when Stella blasts off. Got that, everyone? Oh. Uh, Lofty? Are you listening? Yes. Yes, Bob. Concrete, water, blast off. And you'll have the most important job, lifting Stella into position. I get to carry Stella to the launch pad! Lucky! Oops. Sorry, May. I will be really, really careful. Don't worry, Stella. I'll make sure you're ready for launch. She can't speak, Lofty. There can't be any messing around with Stella. She'll be safe with me, May. OK, Bob. I'll leave you to it. OK, team. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can!
I lift Stella onto the launch pad yet? Soon, Lofty. OK. How about now? <laughs> There's plenty of time, Lofty. You can put Stella in place once the concrete is set. You just need to be patient. OK, Bob. I'll be patient. And ready. There. All done. <gasps> they finished. I have to fetch Stella. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Steady. Let's get a good look, Lofty. I want to see turns. Stop it. I need to get Stella to the launch pad. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I need... Wait, Lofty! Not yet! Who? Who? Careful, Lofty! You're going to... rip the parachute. What? what have I done? Oh, no! Oh, no! Stella! She's ruined! I'm really, really sorry, May. I wanted everything to go so right, but it's all gone so wrong. I said you needed to be patient, Lofty. I'll never get the record now. My dream is covered in wet concrete. Listen, May, we'll get Stella flying somehow or other. Really? Can you really get Stella flying? Yes, yes we, we can. can. But we're due to launch in two hours. Then it's T-minus two hours and counting. We'll be ready, May. I know I can count on you, Bob. OK, Lofty, let's get Stella out of that wet concrete. Yes, Bob. Slowly. Gently. She won't fly like that. Not with concrete all over her. Then we need to get it off quickly before it sets. Perhaps... Yes, Lofty? We could clean Stella using the machine wash back at the yard. That's a great idea. But maybe you should let Muck carry Stella in his dumper. I can do that. I can carry Stella. I made the mess, so I should make it right and carry her. But we're on a countdown, Lofty, and we'll get there quicker if Muck carries her. If you're worried about Stella, you can come too. You're right, Wendy. We need to work together. Let's rule! Scoop. I know! We still have a problem. The parachute is torn and there isn't a spare. Stella can't go into space without her parachute. Otherwise, she won't be able to come back home safely. Hmm. <gasps> Bob, I think I know how to fix it. Lofty, really carefully, please. Well done, Lofty! You. Let's get over to Mission Control. to be patient, JJ. Here we go. All together. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, 
on, Stella. You can do it. Break the record, little rocket. So, where is Stella now? There! Yay! It was a great idea to use the banner to patch the parachute, Lofty. You saved the launch and Stella's coming down in a safe area, just like I planned. Well done, Lofty. Well done, May. Thank you, Bob. Stella's a record breaker. If you feel like breaking another record, May, could you build a rocket so I can be the first crane into outer space? <gasps> Lofty. The space crane. Interesting proposal. Let's see. Yes, I could. <gasps> but I'd need a rocket 300 feet tall and a launch pad the size of Victam. <gasps> Bob, can we build it? <laughs> Why not? It'll only take us a year or two. How exciting! <laughs>